today I saw something that intrigued me. And I was supposed to be doing something else today, but there was on, on Facebook, somebody put a post up saying, can you win this race with a standard car? No mods, tune, you know, bits and pieces, but you can't add any extra power. Can you win this race with a stock standard car? This race is the World Touring Car 900 at the Nürburgring. It's the GP track, nothing else. So, I've set about it. I've used a couple of cars. I've used the uh, Audi A5 DTM. No go, not good enough. I use the, well, let's, let's, let's go through it. We are two. Oh, category. Oh, wrong button. We are two. I use the Nismo GT500 16. Not good enough. And I've stood and watched. I've, I've tried the CLK LM98. Not good enough. And I've settled on the RCF. 830pp. I'm going to run the softs on the front and race the mediums on the rear. I'm going to try and get this to go seven laps and do three laps after a pit stop on softs. We're going to have to see how we go. The mediums are there to push the back tyres and go that extra, extra couple of laps. I don't think you can do softs five and five. So when we say standard car, I've got suspension is just default, nothing changed. Fully customizable rear diff at five, five, five. I've got the downforce at zero. Well, it's 800 on the rear and 650 on the front. Absolutely nothing on there. 100 power. Nothing on the resistance. Nothing on the restrictions. Uh, gearbox is just standard as far as I know. No nitrous. We've got normal turbocharger because it's default. We've got the brake controller fitted, but it's at minus five to the front. Nothing else. So I've given a bit of a study. I've run some laps. I feel I need to run... 148, 149s for every lap. And if I do a pit stop, I'm taking three laps of fuel at the most. And I'm swapping to all softs to do the last three tart runs as last three laps as a real sprint. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. Now I suppose it's easy enough to pick a GR1 car. Looking at the list up there at the front, look, it's the Nismo GT500s, there's the RCF somewhere near the front, there's the McLaren F1, but we're just going to have to see where it goes. I really don't know how this is going to go. Assist, traction control 1, default ABS, everything else off, and now my controller settings, steering sensitivity 5, force feedback max torque 7, force feedback sensitivity 7. I'm using a G29 with G25 pedals. So, let's go and set out and see where we go. So we've really got to set this one up really quite aggressive as far as I can work out. We're going to have to find the optimal braking point, which is going to be just about the 100, I think, on this first lap, probably a little bit later. Now we've got very little in the way of downforce, so we're going to have to treat this car really gently, but hopefully the... Uh, the tyres are going to just give us that sort of grip that we need. The back's got a lot of torque. It's squirty on the throttle. And we're chasing down these GR2 cars. This is really quite a challenge. Woozers. It's all over the show, isn't it? Zero downforce and mediums on the back is really upsetting the car. No, this is not going to work. Too much grip. Settings. Car settings. I have to put that as medium, medium. And I'm going to have to potentially push the rear downforce to... Maybe all of it. We'll leave the front where it's at. See where it goes. Sometimes you have to work these races out this way. It's a, It can be really, really challenging to, to really give this a good go. But it's easy enough to go and stick a turbo on it or do whatever. But as, as somebody said, it's, it's a little bit of skill. It's a really challenging race. It's really good. And... It'll be just making it happen for credits, I suppose. 
if you're at this point of the game where you're really trying to enjoy it and you've pretty much through the game or you're, you're looking for something to keep your interest in I believe this could be the one so we're going to change the strategy to 7-3 and we're going to run softs for the last three we need to get these lap times down to that was much more better balanced much better balanced with that downforce I think we're going to get seven laps out of it Mr. Gallo. Around the outside, I think so. That's where I think we're going to have to go. We were lucky there. Six and a half laps of fuel, it's saying. Front end just washing out a wee bit. By the way, this is no lap practice. This is. We haven't done any practice in this car. This is just straight on the bat. You saw the laps we've done. I've actually done the race and finished fourth in the Nismo 500, GTR 500. So, we're some 44 seconds behind the leaders. So, and we're starting last on the grid, so we're now at 20th place. We've got to take two cars per lap. And we've got to take 4.4 seconds out of the leaders every lap. So we're getting to 6.2, so we've got the fuel. Mr. Pinnell in the NSX, beautiful car. Going to break just before the 100. Still missed the apex, look how fast the car went. Ahead we've got the sister cars, the Lexuses. And we've also got a livery on board today, created by JB. At GTP Addictions. So the outlap was a one fifty one two two two. We haven't really got a handle on where we're going to be fastest lap wise but we need to overtake Mr. Sealant and his teammate, his colleague we should be able to get these boys I think as we come up the hill Mr. Held so Mr. Drummond puts in the fastest lap a 155.448 Everybody's getting a purple this point. Our fastest outlaps are 151. I'm about to get smacked off the track by Mr. Held. Wasn't impressed with that. Team Lexus. So in Estrosa, 154.618. We've put a 154.449, we're still 44 seconds down. So we need to still have the gas on here. We need to really get the hammer down. Start putting some 49s in. Don't know how we're going to get that lap time down. take that really wide line there, you're not going to get penalised for it that overrun is purely acceptable a quarter of a second up at the first time of gate coming up to ST Yamanaka in 15th we're on target for our overtakes, two per lap I don't know if we're going to stay on target for the overtakes tyres are wearing quite evenly, the rears are Probably a little bit more involved than the fronts. Mr. Yamanaka now just falling into our possible capture zone. Here we go, break just on the 100. Run a little bit wide, but carry the speed as we can. Is that this Mercedes? It is. So, we're only going to run a 53, I think, at this point. This is... Uh, not going to be the best. He 
It's raining. It's never rained in this race before. Hot damn. Well, I wasn't expecting that. We're just going to have to watch this water. Well, that's an interesting uh, kettle of fish, isn't it? We've got them down to 40 seconds. At this point, we're not looking like we're going to need to take any other tyres. But we're going to have to manage this fastest laps hours of 152.282. Mr. Lim, just going to try and run him around the outside here. Sponge the brakes a bit, take the line, there we go. Oh, he got us on the outside. On the inside, he got us on the run out of the corner. Rain's just easing there. That dash of rain didn't really affect our race that much. We're one car down on the overtake, so on lap four, 38 seconds back. get a faster lap that time but I think we're a bit cautious at the start of the lap which I don't think you can blame us to be honest with that rain coming down which seems to have moved on but there's possibly some more coming the 37.9 down Short shifting out, out coming out of that corner. Good to see the purple sectors. Just see the rain starting to pitter patter again. Four cars in front of us. Second team Mercedes. Looks like the first of the RCFs up there as well. There's a Nissan. Track's just starting to wet up again. Just nip down the inside there, a little bit cheeky monkey. This looks like heavier rain. Not sure what the process is going to be here. Lap 5 to watch these cars in front if they decide to uh, oh the Nissan's gone for the gravel we're all going in what are we thinking Inters Inters we're we going to take all the fuel we're going to take all the fuel we've got five laps I don't know whether that was going to be enough I don't know whether we're going to take the Inters. Now the good thing about this race is this is going to be good understanding and good decision making for the upcoming league. When we have rain involvement, there we go. 5.2 laps. It's very wet. I don't know whether we made the right choice, the right tyre. If it gets much wetter, we're in trouble. The one minute and six behind the uh, lead cars. But Mr. Labutli there has just really stuck on his race tyres. We are seesawing, it's really wet. We can see how wet it is. 
Mr. Drummond, you're not supposed to pull in front of a car that's coming past you. Mr. Ordinez, he's on uh, wet tyres as well, I believe. We're doing okay here, we've got good downforce. We need it to start drying out. Give us that advantage. Mr. Innerstroza in seventh. Forty-seven seconds behind the leader. We're staying on the intermediate tyres all the way to the end. I don't believe we're going to be backing off these tyres at all. Oh, we are going very slowly in front. Mr. Kawakami. got to drive this with caution you can't be flat out we're only 10 seconds behind the leaders my thoughts is they are going to having to be pitting oops oops that was savage I didn't expect him to be going that slow in all fairness seven seconds beyond the leader they're continuing on right the intermediate now tires are now becoming the the favorite tire kind of get the feeling the uh, the front runners all pitted for tyres start to look for this line that's drying car is extremely twitcheroo and being now 10 seconds ahead they're slightly pulling away Need this to dry up some more. Slightly wider line, the, it's drier there, isn't it? We can start to see it drying up. That's uh, very interesting. Rums. That's Mr. Orden as my teammate. He's um, they're now 12, 13 seconds ahead of us. We're just losing this, just fraction on fraction. We slowed down really on this dry line's now appearing. So now's where we've got to really make the gas. 10 seconds back. We have got three laps to do this. Looked like somebody went to the pits there. I don't think so. There's some real spray ahead. And there's more rain coming. It was intermediates or wets, and I didn't know. I just picked up those inters as potentially the best tyre for the day. But I think we're going to be stuck in a wet world. Well, we need wet tyres this time. Wet tyres would have won this, I think. Very light and steady rain. What's up there ahead looks to be really quite vicious. Though the three leaders are there. 
We are just catching them. Just as it gets wetter. And we just blow it off the track. Again, we're about to get into that drying phase. Just about to end. We're just making all the mistakes we don't need to make right now. Right, we're out of the rain. It's going to back off now. We've just got to get the hammer down and we've got to make up those eight seconds in two laps. We slide in. One corner made six and a half seconds. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Really booting the throttle, letting the traction control take the pain. We've lost that one and a half seconds. His intermediate tyres are really, really, really doing the business in terms of. There's no tyre wear for him. We're running in the wet. We need to complete this race before that next massive chunk of water comes along. Now 7.4 seconds. We get this round the corner, get the tar straight. 6.9. Don't want to do that, closers. Just can't get the car to slow down. Once we've got the speed on. And the next massive rain is coming, isn't it? All wets with the tyre to pick. Intermediates were incredibly tricky. Seven point seven. I think they're on full wets. In the next moments, this race is over. Because the heavens are going to open. We're going to absolutely get blown down. I can feel it, I can see it happening. Somebody's now gone to the pits. They were on Inters, but they needed fuel. Mr. Jahul going all the way. And the rain is coming, Pounder was on wets. We were never going to win this at this point. Seven seconds behind Mr. Jahul. And the good stuff is coming. The big stuff. Mr. Serrano in the Audi is behind us. The atrocious weather is here. We're back into the super deep stuff. I can only suggest Mr. Jahul is suffering as greatly as we are. 8.2 seconds. Just slowing down super early now. I don't think we're going to catch him in this final lap. Tires are in excellent condition, but 
5.3 Just gotta be who's uber cautious One point seven seconds down. I'm gonna try and take the inside line here. And then we've just gotta get over the finish line. We know this final finish line is absolutely treacherous for an acceleration point. But here we go through the line. I've not looked at fuel. We've got 25%, so we're looking good. Here we go through the line. There she is. What an absolute cracking race that was. What a scary decision to have to choose the tyre compound. This is going to run into the league race practice. Really, really intense for these races that we're going to have rain. Well, that was stunning. I didn't realise there was actually rain coming down that way. So we were 46 seconds behind to start the race. And we absolutely made something of it with that rain coming down. Well, that was just an odd race to pick up something that was said. We used a standard car. Don't think we're going to get a clean race bonus. We don't. But that puts us in first place. And it, it was absolutely tremendous. I really enjoyed that. You can see how dry it was. We had a little bit of uh, tyre smoke, it looked like, as we came off the... Uh, came onto the intro. But there she is, there's the car, there's the there's the Widowmaker skin created by uh, by JB. I'm really we're happy with that. So there you go, the Nürburgring WRC WRC WTC 900. There's the setup that we used. We'll see you on the next one, folks. All the best. Take care.